All right, lower your expectations. Lower your expectations, guys. I'm, I'm only human. Uh, we, uh, people here on dates? Anyone dating? Yeah. No? Okay. Well, I've actually been thinking a lot about asking my girlfriend to marry me. Thank you. Uh, but then I remembered I broke up with her two months ago. So that's probably... That's, uh, but every relationship has obstacles, right? You know? <laughs> no, we're friends, her and I. We're still friends. We're friends with benefits. Because she's a friend with Amazon Prime, and I benefit from two-day shipping, so... <laughs> Keep your connections, everyone. That's... I'm not looking forward to uh, going back and dating. I don't, I don't think I'm physically desirable, you know? Like, my face is okay, it's my body that's the problem. I, no, I have the type of body girls refer to as a great personality. <laughs> Some people think I have an athletic build. Sure, if the sport's eating hot dogs, why not, you know? <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to like hitting on women in bars, you know, like, uh, but you know, last time I did it, didn't go so well. I was talking this girl up and she just leans in and says, listen, I'm a Scorpio and I have a kid in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'm like, that's cool. I live with my grandma. Either way, we're fucking in front of someone who can't walk tonight. <laughs> I know, I know, I know how wrong that sounds, guys. I know how wrong that sounds. Because I'm a Libra, I'm not compatible with Scorpios. <laughs> Had to look that one up, too. <laughs> Just to verify. It's all in research. That's comedy for you. <laughs> a lot of ways to please a woman, guys. I just came across a sex move called a Houdini. It's when you're... Yeah, it's when you're a... <laughs> so you know it, okay? <laughs> Great magician never reveals their secret, but here I go. <laughs> It's when you're having sex with someone with the lights off and you replace yourself with your friend and she doesn't know it. So don't worry, it's just non-consensual sex. Pretty much like. <laughs> I think we should give other famous magicians sex moves, right? Like a Siegfried and Roy could be like if you're trying to fuck a lion and clawed your face off or uh, a Chris Angel's when you think you're really great at sex but you suck, you know? <laughs> David Blaine's if you're trying to fuck someone who's suspended cube above New York City for a week straight. Uh, by the way, David Blaine was accused of sexual assault a couple years ago and just disappeared. Best magic trick he's ever done. <laughs> he sucks, I don't care. He's terrible. What's his other great move? Like sitting in a bubble underwater for a week straight? Good for, that's not magic, that's just stamina, but I don't have that either. Some people get it in. I have, a, I have a friend who called me recently just to tell me he had sex with a black girl. I'm like, dude, it's 2020. Doesn't anyone say hi anymore? <laughs> like, haven't, haven't heard from you in a while. I was like, how was it? He says, great. She said I was woke. <laughs> I think you did it wrong, you know? <laughs> It's not such a good sign when you want feedback and she brings up society's problems. Like, hey, how was I? You know, Ruben, these Democrats just can't get their shit together. Damn. <laughs> Fucked by a Republican again. <laughs> I'm woke though, I think I'm woke. My Netflix tells me I'm woke because it says I like movies with strong male black leads and then gave me 15 Eddie Murphy movies to watch. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a great test for wokeness? Like, you know, watch Norbit and Pluto Nash back to back and gauge how much you hate Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Those movies suck. I think I'd rather just be called racist, you know? I do love movies. I was watching one of my favorite movies, Rise of the Planet of the Apes with James Franco. Here's where he fucks up in that movie, is he names the monkey Caesar. Like, that's a name you follow into battle. If he had named it something like Dr. Giggleboner, totally different movie, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I can be racist, but we don't like Planet of the Apes. Anyway. I, uh, I finally got to that show Chernobyl. Has anyone seen it? Yeah. Isn't the whole thing heartbreaking? Sad. All that radiation, not one person got a superpower. God. All right, thanks, guys. I've been Ruben Wolf.